we're going to be walking through how to buy Tau, aka BitTensor, on the BitTensor exchange. I do want to stress, this is a disclaimer, that the BitTensor exchange is community owned. It is not owned by the team. It has no affiliation with the team themselves. Um, so you're buying somewhat at your own risk. I've used it a few times personally and I haven't had any issues, but I have. I do know people who have had issues. So only buy if you feel comfortable buying. If you don't, please don't buy and uh, maybe hold off and wait for crypto exchanges to come in the future. So we're going to need three things uh, and all the links will be down below and please use the links below. We're going to need three different websites uh, because I don't want anyone getting scammed and all the links will be correct. There's no kickback for me personally. I just want to make sure everyone is clicking the right links and, and getting the right the right websites. So the first thing we're going to need is to create a wallet on the Polkadot.js extension via either Chrome, Firefox or Brave. We are then going to need the BitTensor Exchange where we're going to be buying the towel and the BitTensor Oracle Explorer where we're going to be connecting our wallet to the Explorer so we can view how much towel we have and we can send and receive towel as well. We're going to go to download the extension for Chrome. We're going to go to add to Chrome, add the extension. We're going to pin it just so ease of use. So then look at all the information. Once you've understood it, click continue. So we're going to click the big plus icon here. This is going to add the account to the polka.js extension. And here we have the wallet. This is your wallet address. You can copy it here. And here we have the 12 word seed phrase. This is very important. You need to write this down and keep it safe. If you don't have this uh, written down and kept safe, then you may not be able to access your account or wallet in the future. So make sure you write this down, make sure it's safe. Once you have done that, click I have saved my seed safely and then go to the next step. We want to name our account. I'm just going to call this buy towel. Once you're happy with your password and you've repeated it for verification, click next. And there we go. We've created a wallet now that we can house our towel. What we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the BitTensor Exchange. So now that we're on the BitTensor Exchange, we're going to try and understand a little bit more about how this works. On the left, we have the sell orders. These are people who are trying to sell their towel. So you have people who are trying to sell at various prices for various amounts for various totals. On the right, we have people who are wanting to buy a towel and they're putting their orders in at various prices as well. The first way we're going to do it is buy buying towel from a seller. We're going to click on buy towel here. So this order is for 10 towel with a price per towel of $20.90 for a total of $209. So we need to find our towel address, which we created just a minute ago on the polkadot.js extension, copy it via the little icon and paste it into the field below. Once you've done that, click complete this order. There will be a small fee for this transaction. What this page is telling you is that you have 30 minutes to complete this transaction. So what they're asking is they want you to send this amount of Bitcoin to this address. You can do that on any exchange, whether that's Binance, Qcoin, whatever. You just need to make sure you send Bitcoin to this address here. Now we'll head over to the exchange where we'll send that transaction. So now that we're on the exchange, we need the address which we can find here. Let's double click that. Enter the address. Make sure the Bitcoin network is selected. Now we need to put the amount that we are going to send, the amount of Bitcoin to the exchange. So we're going to copy and paste the amount here. And we're going to put a little bit extra in just to cover the fees and make sure that this amount matches up with this amount, which it does. And then we're going to click withdraw. So once the transaction has been sent, uh, all you need to do is click this little refresh button. It will take you to a pending confirmations page. And then you, there'll be another little refresh button. Click that a few more times and then it will take you to a transaction complete page. And there we go. The order is complete. We've just bought 10 towel for a price of $20.90 for a total price of $209. Now we're going to quickly go over the second way that you can buy a towel. Instead of buying from a seller, we're going to put a buy order on the books and maybe someone can sell into our buy order. We're going to click buy a towel at the top. Let's say you wanted to buy 10 towel at a price of $20. We're going to grab the tau address that we created in the polkadot.js extension. We're going to copy it via the icon, paste it. And then what you want to do is you want to put in a Bitcoin address that the exchange can send the Bitcoin back to if the order was to be canceled or needed to be refunded. And you would place that here. After that, you would create the order and then you would go through the same process of sending the Bitcoin to the exchange like we just showed previously. And then the order would sit on the books at the top or whatever price you set it at. 
So now that we've bought our towel, we're gonna to head over to the BitTensor Oracle Explorer where we're gonna add the account to the Explorer. We're gonna click on accounts, accounts again. Now the, the account has not showed up here. We need to link it to our Polkadot extension. So we're gonna refresh the page here. It's gonna initialize the connection. We're, you're gonna read the information. When you're happy with it, click yes to allow the application to access the extension. And there we go. This is the, the wallet address that we created earlier in the Polkadot extension. This is this guy right here. And this is the tower that we just bought on the BitTensor exchange. And it really is that simple. So to quickly go over what we just did, we created a wallet via the Polkadot extension. We bought the towel on the BitTensor exchange and then we linked the Polkadot wallet, which is this guy, and we connected it to the BitTensor Explorer so we could see how much towel we have and we could send and receive towel as well. Now I hope that tutorial helped everyone on how to buy a towel and what wallet to put it in. I do wanna stress that the BitTensor Exchange is community owned, so please be careful when using it. Only use it at your own risk. Uh, the team cannot be liable for any lost funds or anything like that. So please, please be careful. Um, but hope that video helped and uh, good luck on your towel journey.